made it for me for Mother's Day in kindergarten. It's adorable. It's perverted. It looks like you're felt up by the creepy guy around the corner. Ew, why him? Because he's got, like, freakishly tiny hands. Thank you. Mm. I cannot believe you kept that shirt. Of course I kept it. I'm your mother. I keep everything you make me. Please take that off. <laughs> oh, when I'm dead. Today is my special day, and I am going to enjoy me some coffee. You know that's a pencil holder, right? I do now. Go first. No, you can go first. Manny, go first. No, Jay, you go ah, first. Ah, somebody give me a present. Oh, Jay, a diamond necklace. <laughs> Thank you. You deserve it. Go ahead, kid. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. A necklace made of the Fruit Loops. I love it. I know they're not exactly diamonds. Well, no, they're beautiful. You know what? I got a confession to make. Those aren't real diamonds. No. Here, give them back. I'll get you some real ones later. Dang it. Now I gotta come clean. Those aren't real Fruit Loops. They're generic. I... Now I have no presents again. Good morning. Hey. Hey, what's this? Well, I know you've had some late nights with Lily, and this is just my way of saying thank you and I love you. Oh, well, thank you. And this is just the beginning, because today is your day. Today. Yeah. All day. <laughs> today. T today's my day. Something's happening. It's Mother's Day, Mitchell. So? You're bringing me breakfast in bed on Mother's Day. Okay, no, no, this is not a Mother's Day breakfast. This is a breakfast that happens to me You think of on... me as Lily's mother. I'm your wife. I'm a woman. What? Honestly, I'm a little offended that he accused me of that. I'm actually very sensitive to that issue. <laughs> like, I would ever treat my partner as a woman. Somebody got new curtains. Well, Mrs. Pritchett loves to shop. Oh, we're never going to be done by six. I better call home. The wife's not gonna like this. <laughs> Sometimes I think he just wants to be mad at me. I can't eat. Okay, you know what? If you can't accept the nice gesture, then just forget it. Okay, scratch the balloons. She is in a mood. I asked Claire what she wanted for Mother's Day, and she said, take a hike. <laughs> it's not like that. She's, she's just bananas for walking around in nature. Um, so she and, and Gloria are taking the kids up the canyon, and Jay and I are uh, throwing on the aprons and preparing a Mother's Day feast. It's, it's going to be fun. But I refuse to... We're not doing that. You know there are coyotes in these woods? Did you pack a weapon? I have a walking stick. Does it become a sword? I guess it can become a running stick. <laughs> All right, you're going to outrun a coyote, the fastest mammal in the world. Not sure that's true. And how are you going to fit them off with the popsicle stick? It's a spear, and it smells like lemon lime, a flavor coyotes hate. Where are you getting your information? How much farther? Well, I'd like to go far enough that we can't still see our car in the parking lot. I'm getting dust in my mouth. <sighs> you have to appreciate nature. Yes. Soon this will be the mall. I'll come then. I'm hungry. I say we eat what we kill. Hmm. Oh, then I guess we'll be eating the mood. I don't get you at all. I know. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, is that the party over there? I don't know. I'm a woman, remember? I have a terrible sense of direction. May I remind you that my big crime was making you fluffy pancakes, okay? I'm getting a little sick of you dwelling on this. It, it happens to be Mother's Day, not Martyr's Day. <sighs> Mitchell, I'm sorry. It's just a sensitive issue for me. Okay. There's nothing gays hate more than when people, people treat, treat us like, like women. women. We're not. We don't want to go to your baby shower. We don't have a time of the month. We don't love pink. <laughs> No, Pink loves me. Hey, guys! Hey, so? That's Jen, husband Rick, baby Diego. I don't get it either. Hey, Jen, let me help you with that. Uh, Rick, how you doing? We should do playgroup on weekends more often. It's nice to have the husbands around to help, right? 
Oh, yeah, because that makes all the sense in the world. You as the husband. Stop it. That's not what she meant. Look at us. I could snap you like a twig. Okay, every once in a while you say that thing about the twig, and I need you to know that it bothers me. All right. Okay, everybody. Happy Mother's Day. I know I speak for all the guys when I say thank you for everything you do while we're off having affairs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'll pay for that later. Uh, let's get the moms and kids together for a picture. No, let's go. Let's get out of here. Leave the stroller Cam, and run. stop. No one's going Cameron, to ask you to... Here. Uh, I don't know. You guys just go ahead. You're there. an honorary mom. Oh, come on, come on. I don't know. Uh, okay. All right. Unhand me. Get over there. Okay. Tighten up. Tighten up. Up here, ladies. Beautiful. One more, gals. Oh, thanks, ladies. Thanks so much. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. That was definitely poison oak. I think this rash is spreading. I mean, that's not a rash. It's red because you scratch it. I just don't want my throat to close. Wouldn't be the worst thing. I'm so bored, I'd rather be reading. I'm so bored, I chewed the last bug that flew in my mouth just to feel something. I'm so bored, I'm talking to you. Ah, uh, okay. For the last 20 minutes, all you people have done is whine. You would think on Mother's Day, at least, you would have something nice to say. Shh. What? Got to hear the coyote. Go ahead. God, Luke, you're such an idiot. At least I don't look like an idiot. What does that mean? Your hat looks like you walked under a bird that poops ugly hats. <laughs> Can we watch the language? There's nothing else to watch. Enough complaining! You can't be each all day because you're not at the beach all day! Come on! No, no, no. I, I'm giving myself a Mother's Day present. Kids, your hike is over. Yes! yes. No! No, not happy. Bad. Mm. Sad. Glory and I are going to go finish this beautiful hike together while you sit here and think about how selfish and thoughtless you've been. Come on. If we're thoughtless, how can we think? I just lost your water. Let's go. What the hell are those? Onion goggles. No more tears when I cook. Welcome to the 21st century. You should get a pair. I was gonna suggest the same thing. Hey, Jay, you know what we should put in this? We should add a No, it's my mom's recipe. Whatever it says on the page goes in the pot. Nothing more, nothing less. Now, how long do I stir the beef and sausages? Read it to me. We should stir the beef and sausages for five minutes. And how much longer do I have to listen to the Julia Child impression? For as long as it's still funny. I think the timer just went off on that. That was unnecessary. What's this? What? Hey, Jay, maybe after this we should make the perfect mom. All we need is a tablespoon of love, one cup of warmth, add one heart softened. What the hell are you talking about? This recipe for the perfect mom by J. Francis Pritchett, age nine. Jeez, I forgot all about that. I don't know if she has it in there. What's that, Francis? Nothing. How much longer on the meat? Oh, I love this part about serves to one small boy. It's adorable. Wow, 175 pounds of tenderness. She must have loved that. Big woman? Jay? And that's when I saw it. Jay? Are you crying? No, it's the onions, damn it. Give me these. What are you looking at? Nothing. Those really frame your face. Oh, wow. Beautiful. I thank you. Okay. I don't want you to judge me, but I have to say something. Sometimes I want to punch my kids. You don't mean that. No, I do. I do. The last time they were horrible the way they were today, they happened to be all lined up. And I couldn't help but think, if I hit just one of them, the rest would go down like dominoes. See? I know. That would rob me of the pleasure of hitting each one individually, but... Oh, my God, you don't talk about your children this way. Oh, come on. You know Manny irritates you. Oh, Manny is the best thing that ever happened to me. We have a special bond. Yes, bonds. I know, but that's not what I'm talking about now. Claire, for a long time, it was only the two of us. I cannot say anything bad about that boy. 
give me a break, Gloria. Anybody who's ever had a kid knows that they can irritate the freaking life out of you at some point. Am I right? Oh, okay. He's persnickety. What? Manny. He's persnickety. He drives me off the wall. Okay. Persnickety, good start. He follows me around all the time. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I love it, but sometimes I need my own space. This does not make you a bad mother to admit these things. And the this poetry. It's not very good. Ah. First time that I say that out loud. Okay. <laughs> it's not very good! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> I, I love money, but, oh, yeah. you know, sometimes I just be a boy, go outside, kick mm -hmm. a ball, steal something. Oh. Ah! It feels so good! <laughs> Maybe to you. No, Manny, I, I was talking about another Manny that I know a long time ago. Diablo. Manny! You know, more people have died hiking than in the entire Civil War. Okay, what book did you read that in? Book? Wake up and smell the internet, Grandma. You know Mom's just gonna want us to apologize. Well, we did kind of ruin her Mother's Day. No, she ruined her Mother's Day. She took us to a place she knew we wouldn't like, and then we complained for like a second and we're the bad guys? That's a good point. Do you ever get the feeling she does this intentionally? Why would she do that? So she can make us feel guilty. Exactly. And the next time we're choosing what to do, she gets her way again. And the next time, and the next time, and eventually it's Mother's Day every day. Wow, Mom's really smart. Well, not smarter than me. Well, I say we don't apologize this time. Let her know we're onto her little game. We could change the way this whole family operates. Okay, so nobody says they're sorry, got it? Keep your mouth shut when she comes back. If she comes back. Jay teared up in front of me. He'd never shown me that kind of vulnerability and embarrassed him. I'd shamed the proud lion. Only thing to do? Hug the proud lion. Oh, I could get bit. I could get scratched. But you know what's inside every lion? A pussy cat. I need you to get away from me. Yep. Okay, I'm just gonna say this one time so we can move on. It's okay. Gotcha. You, you know what it is? It's you crying. Which I didn't. You teared up. It was the onions. Okay. Okay, maybe I'm maybe I'm just putting myself in your place, but if I came across something from my childhood and it reminded me of my mom, I might get a little misty. Maybe even want to talk about it. Here. So proud. They offered me a bouquet, Mitchell. Which you accepted. Why can't you ever take my side? They think of me as a woman. Cam, no, come on, we're just a new type of family. You know, they don't have the right vocabulary for us yet. They, they need one of us to be the mom. So why does it have to be me? Do I wear a dress? Well... That's a nightshirt. It's kind of satiny. What are you saying? Come on, you know. No, 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 I don't know. All right, if, if, I, if I'm thinking about it, of the two of us, if, if, if I had to pick, I, I, I might say that you're slightly mommer. Excuse me, can you throw that ball? Can I throw a ball? <laughs> you don't, you don't think I can Damn. throw a ball? No, yeah, no, no. That's not no. what he said. No, apparently this gentleman doesn't think I can throw a ball. Well, that's not what he said. You don't think I can throw a ball? Well, let's find out. <laughs> oh, God, he looks old. Oh! Oh, sorry! Can't hand. Sorry! There you go. Oh, Manny, I didn't mean any of it. Please forgive me. I don't think I can. Let's just get in the van. Oh, sorry for the rhyme. I know how you hate my poetry. Please stop my suffering. Say something terrible about me so that we can be even like a Steven. Why would I say something terrible to someone I love? I curse my tongue! I'm gonna intervene here. Manny, let's talk about what really happened, okay? Your mom said you should go out and throw a ball around. That can't be the first time you've heard that. No, but there was some hurtful stuff said about my poetry. Which your mom regrets? I do. 
So, that's what parents are for. Sometimes they criticize because it helps make you stronger. Kids these days get, get trophies just for showing up. What's that gonna lead to? A bunch of 30 year olds living at home. Manny, your mother loves you very much, but she's a human being. So she let off a little steam. Honestly, it's probably a great thing for your relationship. I guess Stop. I can- Stop. He needs to know the real truth. Manny, Claire was feeling bad because she wants to hit her own children. So I tried to make her feel better by inventing terrible things about you. You mean you don't have a problem with my poetry? No, the only problem that I have is that I never have enough of it. Mm. You're the perfect kid in every way. I know. That's healthy. Good, you're back. Uh -huh. Are we done? Unless you have something to say to the person who gave you life on her special day. Nope, I'm good. My baby Luke. Uh, no. Hey. Hey. Here. This. Well, it's a Mother's Day card, and I know, stop it, okay, oh, Cam, that was Gloria's card for Manny, but I just wanted you to see what its definition for mother was on it. It's warm, nurturing, supportive, I, you know, maybe when the world sees you Not as a mom. Not just the world. Fine, fine, me too, but maybe this is what we're seeing, and I, I don't know why that's such a bad thing. It, it certainly doesn't make you less of a man, right? Maybe you're right, you know. Come on, let's join the party. And, and can't put down the scotch, you're not fooling anyone. It is so burning. Oh my God. Come on, people, everybody to the table. It's just hard, you know, having your mother's day ruined. I never thought it would be you, Lucas. Don't even think about it. She's sad. Sad she's losing. She just hit you with her best shot. You need to stay strong. But I feel... Don't feel. Just go splash water on your face and man up. We're your mother now. How was your day with my dad? Awkward, actually. He, um... He cried a little. My dad? Shh. Dad what? He cried. No, I didn't say he cried. Who cried? My dad. Stop. Why would you make Jay sob like that? I didn't make him sob. He teared up when I found this poem he wrote for his mom uh, as a boy. Oh. What do you know? Oh. Bill saw dad cry. <gasps> Jay misses his mama. Everybody stop. Is anybody hungry? What? You cried for your mommy. Oh, crap. I did not. Yes, Phil just told No, that's not true. She's a liar. What's wrong with you? Look, I know you would all be so happy if you thought I had some big emotional moment about my mom, but I didn't. So you don't miss your mom? Of course I do. She was a great lady. And she also left me a fantastic recipe for sauce, which now is getting cold. So can we please eat? Let's mm. eat. Here, here. Grab some wine. Gosh, smell that. It smells like grandma's house. Hey, you guys remember that? I remember yeah. the first time I cut spaghetti. Do you remember? <laughs> ah, that's what you did. <laughs> yeah, no, you can't cut spaghetti. She taught me to twirl. Oh, so she's the one. <laughs> yeah, she was tough. I remember I had this little league coach, and one time after a game, he was laying into me about something I don't remember, but mom comes charging out of the stand. She goes right up to the guy, I mean, face to face, nose to nose, and she says to him, let me tell you something. Nobody, and I mean nobody, yells at my little Okay, Jake, let it out. Let it out. You only get one, Mom. I'm sorry, Mom. Me too. Bottle of red, bottle of... What? Oh, yeah, and I'm the weak one? Mitchell? All right, Mom got you just... Sorry. 
I think she's calling you. Don't even try. I have that pottery class in the morning. Jay, let's go to bed. Be right up. Okay. Son of a bitch. Oh, good you're up. Oh, it is such a beautiful day. Let's go have brunch somewhere outside where I can wear my new sunglasses. Huh? Ew, gross, what happened to you? I don't feel good. I'm hot. Now I'm cold. Oh, no. And we have that concert tonight. I know, but honey, that's the furthest thing from my mind, okay? <laughs> Why me? We had amazing seats for Lady Gaga and he gets sick. I'd been looking forward to that concert for months. It's the one gay cliche I allow myself. are not allowed to yell at each other. But you're allowed to yell at us? Yes, Alex, I am, because I feed you, and I clothe you, and I pay the mortgage. Whoa, pretty sure old dad deserves a shout out right about now. Phil. Sorry, should have taken the temperature of the room first. What's up? Luke well, and Manny barged into I... our room while we were changing the little purse. Can I just say, in Europe, this would be no big deal. Yeah, you can see me in my underwear whenever you want. Here, I'll make it even. No, hey, Luke, 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 keep your pants on. Okay, girls, stop getting so hysterical over everything. Come on. Now grow up a little. I need things to start changing around here or I will change things, okay? There will be no more TV and no internet and no whatever else I can think of. May I have a word with you, Phil? I'd rather not. What was that? Nothing. Phil, you saw me out behind my back. No, it's just that sometimes you can get a little intense and I feel like I need to swoop in to let the kids know they're still loved. I could kick you. Honey, these are just the parts that we're playing. Am I wrong or has it been working? I feel like it's been working. I'm tired of being the bad cop. You need to discipline them sometime and let me swoop in with all the love. Shouldn't we just stick with the stuff we're good at? Oh my God, this bathroom is disgusting. The girls told me they would clean it days ago. I can't yell at them about it one more time, Phil. You handle it. I would, but I promised Luke and Manny I'd take them go-karting for their good report cards. What was good about Luke's report card? He didn't lose it. Let me take them. Yes, let me take them. You stay here, hound the girls about cleaning up this mess, and I will take Luke to do something fun. But I want to go go-karting. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. This is happening. Boys! Hey, guys. Guess who's taking you go-karting today? Me. Why? Are we in trouble? No, we're in trouble. Today's just all about having fun. And you know what? Go-karting's just the beginning. What else are we doing? Whatever you want. I want to bring Dad. Well, tough. You can't. He's doing something else. Goodbye. We will be back in a few hours. Oh, well. Where are you guys going? I am taking Alex to the movies, and then I'm going to the mall. Oh, fun. That's just, like, fun, doesn't it, Phil? I'm not much of a shopper, but it would depend on them. Oh, uh... Girls, how about you clean your bathroom before you go, huh? It'd really help your mom out. Oh, no, it's not about what mom wants. Your mom is cool, very cool with whatever. It's about what dad wants. Dad wants to go go-karting. I would really like it if you would clean your bathroom. But my movie! Why do we have to do it now? Because Claire says so. Because I say so. And because I'm your dad. And I'm older than you. And I call the shots around here, right? Yes, you do. This is so unfair. Come on, guys, let's go have some fun. Ow, you're hurting me. Oh, you're fine. Have Ow. fun, guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So, how does this usually start? Good morning, Mr. Preacher. How you doing, sport? I didn't know who that was. I never do. At least once a month, I find a total stranger sitting in my kitchen. Gloria collects every kind of stray, looking for work, money, you name it. She's got a big heart. It's the one thing I'd like to change about her. Hey, 
Hey, a dog. That's new. That was Mr. Pigeon. Oh, Jay, there you are. Come. I want to introduce you to Guillermo. Just met him. Really hit it off. Honey, keep it under 100 bucks. You don't even have to tell me. I'm going golfing. No, senor. He's a very nice man that works at the grocery store and needs a little bit of business advice. Oh, why didn't you say so? I thought he was just some nut who lived behind the dry cleaners. Oh, that's the guy we bought corrective shoes for last month. Jay, he knows how successful you are, and all he wants is an hour of your time, half hour. Ten minutes, I promise him. Honey, I love you, but why do you drag me into these things? You've got to learn to say no to people. Fine. Ask me if you can go golfing now. Other people. All I want is when I go to bed at night to be laying next to a man that is generous and giving. And that man doesn't necessarily need to be you. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Guillermo! <coughs> do you want me to move the wastebasket closer to you? Oh, no, it's fine where it is. Really? Because the bed kind of looks like a rose parade float. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for taking care of me. Well, what else would I be doing? Um, seeing Lady Gaga, that's what. So, uh, Cam, you know, I hate to bring this up, but what are we gonna do about that concert? What do you mean? Well, you know, we were both looking forward to going, you were looking forward to going, I was really looking forward to going, and I just, I, I hate to see the, those tickets go to waste. I know, I know. But what are our options? We could both go to the concert. <coughs> but that's not gonna happen. Uh, well, we could sell the tickets online. Oh, but there's that Craigslist killer. Oh, what to do, 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 other options, other options. Mitchell, are you hinting that you want to go to that concert without me? What? No, no. Not in a million years, but that, that's very sweet of you to offer. I didn't offer. Oh, really? Because that just seems like something that you would say. You go, I'll be fine. You spent all the money on the tickets, and I'm just going to lie in bed anyways. That's classic, Cam. I'm just so weak. Okay, good. You know what? It's settled. We're just gonna put this whole you insisting I go to the concert without you thing behind us. You know what? What? Can I get one of my little pudding cups? Yes, you can. Yes. <laughs> you eat the pudding and I'll eat the tickets. Thank you for your time, Mr. Pritchett. But after you hearing my presentation, you will be thanking me. You've got confidence, I admire that. He admires that, Guillermo, you're doing great. Keep going. Are you aware that last year, Americans spent $40 billion on dog training? Well, that's not true. I was surprised as you are. No, you were surprised because it's not true. Shh. Go on, Guillermo. What is this multi-billion dollar industry missing? Multi-billion dollars. I have devised a revolutionary way to communicate. Listen, I, I hate to interrupt your big pitch, but your dog is chewing my pillow. It's fantastic. It's not fantastic for my pillow. It's the perfect opportunity for me to demonstrate the good doggy, bad doggy training system. We're in! Oh, my slow down. Well, what are we going to do about the pillow situation? Watch and be amazed. Stella here is being a bad doggy. Stella, let go, bad dog, bad dog. Bad dog. And what does a bad dog get? A bad doggy treat. I mean, you give her a treat for doing something bad? A, a bad doggy treat. When she is good, she gets the good doggy treat. Brilliant! We're going to be rich! Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. What, what is the difference between a bad doggy treat and the good doggy treat? Bacon. The bad doggy treat is very bland. But she seems like she likes it. Wait till you see the good doggy treat. Stella, sit. Now, a good doggy treat. They, uh, she's still full from the bad doggy treat. But there you have it, the good doggy, bad doggy training system. <laughs> Welcome to the ground floor. Actually, she's peeing on the ground floor. Quick, quick, give her a bad doggy treat. Hello? Hey, it's me. Is this a bad time? No, I'm just in the car. OK, I'm having a moral dilemma. We have tickets for Lady Gaga tonight, but Cam's sick. I'll take them. Wait, you don't even like concerts. Yes, I do. I'm fun now. Claire? They said we had to be at least 13 to ride the fast ones. They're 13? It's fine. <laughs> this is very confusing. At movie theater, she says I'm 11. Can we get back to me? What? Does it make me a horrible person? I kind of want to go without him. Well, how sick is he? I don't know. He's sick. You know, they're not going to make a Lifetime movie about him. What's he like when you're sick? Cam, I think I can walk to the kitchen. 
<laughs> He's okay. You should go. You know what I learned today? You can't wait around for somebody to give you something you want. Sometimes you just have to take it. Oh, I'm gonna feel so guilty though. You'll resent him if you stay. Okay, how about this? You stay home and take care of him. Soup, foot rubs, you blow his nose. Ew. He's so lucky to have you. And then tonight, right before the concert, you say, Cam, I love you, but I really wanna go. He'll say fine, you drop Lily off at our house, and it's great. Driver, driver. I'm putting you on speaker. What are you doing? Making my kids love me. Driver's ready. Three, two, one. It's going down, Delgado. Like the ow, 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 ow. Finished cleaning the bathroom. We're leaving. See, that didn't take too long. Thank you, girls. Now go and have a good time, all right? Bye. See? You don't need all the conflict. Note to Claire, if you want intense family drama, rent Spy Kids. They saved their parents' lives. Do you think they would have done that if they got yelled at all the time? Wheat and sour chicken! Girls! Get back! Gotta fix that step. Girls! Did he just yell? Drive! I'm trying! You girls get back here right now! Oh my god, you don't hear I it. I know you can't hear it. Oh, you the car! Stop this car! We're sorry, Dad! I couldn't hear you! No I more lies! You poked the bear, girls! You poked him! In closing, the only real question is, after you invest in good doggy, bad doggy, how will we spend all our money? In handbags. No, vacation. I know a home gym. Uh, uh, Guillermo, your ambition is infectious. <laughs> Clearly, my wife needs to be inoculated. But I'm going to be blunt. I know, no, you're not going yes, to. Yes, I am. Now, you wanted my honest business advice, right? Very much. Here it is. Your idea is not good. No, what Jay means is that no, when what I mean is it stinks. Now, that's nothing against you. You've got charm, you've got ambition, and that's great. What you need is a better idea. But I don't have a better idea. Any idea would be a better idea. Your honesty is refreshing. Thank you. Oh, you made him cry. He's not crying. You're not crying, are you? No. A little. It's just... Five years of my life are for nothing. Five. Five years. Ay, Guillermo, I'm sorry. Why don't you stay for lunch and, and we can all brainstorm your next idea? Really? Thank you, Gloria. I go put Stella in the car. I don't want to ruin any more of your beautiful things. Mm. Gracias. Bad dog. Why were you so tough with him? He's very sensitive. Did you think that was a good idea? Of course not. But I'm nice, and I put on the sugar jacket. Sugar coating is not going to help him. He needed to hear what I said to him, even if it hurt a little bit. He's going to thank me one day. Ay, Guillermo! Now I have to apologize. Accept it. Not to you. What are you going to get, Luke? I want a cheeseburger. Yeah! I can't decide between french fries or onion rings. Get them both! How about you, Manny? Um, do you have a skinless grilled chicken breast? What, are you going to the ball, Cinderella? Live a little. I know Claire was trying to be fun, but that crossed the line. Anything else? Who wants a milkshake? Milkshake, milkshake, three milkshakes. I didn't really want a milkshake, but after what she said to Manny, I didn't want to risk it. Mom, I don't feel good. Did you finish your milkshake? I think that was the problem. Look who's a doctor now. Maybe it was the pie. Oh, he's fine. Hey, hey, who likes roller coasters? I need a bag. No, no, you're not gonna be sick, Luke. We're having fun. Okay. No, I really need a bag. Take the lid off the cup. I'm starving. Me too. Um, Dad, we haven't had lunch yet. Neither have half the kids in Africa. Uh, Stop yapping and get back to work. Why is he taping our laptop shut? Because he's out of his mind. 
I'm not out of my mind. You took advantage and you lost your computer privileges. Come on, Dad. We said we're sorry. Plus, I can't get this stupid drano clogged anyways. Stick that hanger down there. Ew, no. Well, it's either that or we cut off all your hair because that's what caused the problem. Thoughts? <gasps> Good. Because after you finish this room, you're going to clean my bathroom, too, and you know how gross I can be. Ew. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. All right, oh, oh settle God. down. It's hair. Oh no, I'm not cut out for this. I spent all day nursing Cam. Oh, hey, can you do the right one now? You mean the one we started with? Sure. Oh. I made soup. I made tea. Finally, it was the moment of truth. Cam, you know, I was thinking that Hey, you're back. What happened with your friend? He's fine. You were right. He did appreciate your honesty. How about that? He's gonna make big changes to his life. Good. He's going back to school. That means he has to go back to live with his sister, so that means that he had to get rid of the dog. But he's so much more realistic now. See that? Mm. And there's a lesson in there for you, too, because sometimes things go better when you just say <gasps> no. What did you do? I, he was going to take her to the pound. But that's his business. I, but look at her little face. No, you don't even want a dog. I know. I have a problem. Crap, that's Manny. If he sees the dog, it's all over. I go lock the door. Oh, and that's the solution. Manny sleeps in the backyard till the dog dies of old age. Hey, guys. I'm home. Boy, I think Claire's working through some stuff because... Oh, my gosh. You got me a doll because of my perfect report card? Gloria? Sorry, Papi. No. The dog lives somewhere else, which is where she's going right now. Text me the address. Can I at least take a moment with her to tell her goodbye? Tell her goodbye? You just met her. I'm so sorry. Look, honey, come back. I said I was sorry. I'm 12. I need lemon. What happened? Oh, I made them drive too fast and eat like Vikings, and then Luke threw up all over the car. No, you don't. Girls, grab your buckets and meet me by the car. They don't have to do that. They do if I say so. I'm sorry. I swear I just told you to grab your buckets. We haven't eaten all day. We're hungry. Well, you won't be in a minute. Honey, you haven't fed them all day. They're monsters, Claire. Deceitful, manipulative monsters. And they need to be broken. He's crazy. You know what? Mom's the crazy one. She ran over my hand. We were having fun. Girls, go to the kitchen, get something to eat. Oh. No, honey, this isn't working. Listen to me, you are not a good, bad cop. I'm a very bad, good cop. I need things to go back to the way they were. Yeah. Yeah. I feel really shaky. Mm -hmm. I don't like being you. Oh. <laughs> Nobody does. Going somewhere? Cam, you're up. Didn't count on that, did you? Are you dropping Lily off at your sister's, or is she taking my ticket? OK, first of all, how are you standing? You drank enough of that cough syrup to put down a grizzly. Well, I'll tell you what's grizzly. That is your behavior. Well, it's just a good thing I'm finding out now. Instead of when I'm old and sick and really need you, better start saving for some sort of home health care plan. Because I'd hate for my broken hip and subsequent pneumonia to interfere with your evening plans. OK, Cam, no, you're right. You're right. I have no <laughs> defense. I am terrible. And the thing is, I knew I was terrible, and I was going anyway. I, I, I think maybe I, I tried to justify it by saying, we're two different people, and you're more of a caregiver, and I have other strengths, and that's what makes us such a good couple, you know? But oh no, it's, it's a cop out. And you know, I've been very selfish, and I need to do better, and I will. I swear on Lily's... Diaper bag. Uh, 
Ah, wow. Ah, no place to go but up, huh? Don't look at me like that. We all got problems. This ain't gonna work, sweetie. That look ain't gonna work on me. Come on. Come on, let's go. I know it's old fashioned, but I like a strong man. A man that can say no when I can't. Not a word. Oh, yes. But instead, I have Jay. I'm strong. But look at this face. Hmm. Maybe we are the way we are because of the people we're with. Or maybe we just pick the people we need. However it works, when you find each other, you should never let go. Mm -hmm. You do need some time alone. <laughs> must have dozed off. Yeah, you were out for quite a while. What have you been up to? I've just been sitting here watching you. Mm. Well, I'm going to go to bed. Okay. Mm. Thanks for staying home with me. Well, you know, in sickness and in health, right? You're still blinking, sweetie. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, this is, this is funny. I'm going to tell you the, the funny thing about why this is, um, this is on. And now, please welcome your valedictorian, Alex Dunphy. Where are my mom and dad? And in this corner, finishing first in her class, delivering the commencement address, weighing in at net. What do you weigh, honey? Dad. The, a healthy amount for a girl her age. Are you getting all this, buddy? Pure gold. She's the main brain, the cerebellum of the ball, Alex Dunphy! Oh, keep rolling. The news will want this footage when I eventually snap. I thought Sanjay Patel was first in the class. He was until he missed a few weeks when the robot he was building attacked him. It's happening, people. Our hubris will be our undoing. Sweetie, what do you say you and I go and get our nails done, huh? It's okay. I want to work on my speech. Been there. I remember the speech that won me treasure in my high school Spanish club. Mi nombre es Felipe. Yo voy a la escuela. Felipe. It was kind of a grande deal. I was up against an actual Puerto Rican. Honey, are you sure? Because I think they can do school colors. I'm good, Mom. Okay. Family milestones always throw Claire for a loop. She holds it in, and then the next day she has a total meltdown, and I have to pick up the pieces. Problem is, tomorrow I'm supposed to go to Vegas with my buds, so... I need her to melt down today. Otherwise, what happens in Vegas won't happen to me because I won't be there. Emotional day, huh? Happy day. Happy and sad. Hmm. Guys, I can't go to Vegas because my wife's freaking out. Trust me, that is not a phone call you want to make to a bunch of ex-college male cheerleaders. They will mock you with a hurtful, rhythmic taunt. Hello? Gloria, it's me. Hi, how was the doctor? Can you pick up some bread on the way home, please? I'm home. My damn gate remote won't work. Could you press? Hello? Nine. Manny, it's okay. What's okay? What's wrong? Where are you calling from? I'm not calling from. Jay's calling. What's wrong with Jay? My clicker won't work. Oh, my God. Your heart's not working? How could you tell us it's over the phone? My heart is fine. Would somebody please press nine and let me in? Okay. Got it. It won't work if you're both on the line. Okay. Okay. Every damn time. Okay, Lily, time to get dressed. I can't believe Alex is going to be in high school. I feel so old. Oh, well, you feel old. I was there when she was born, in the delivery room. 
I wasn't gay before. Oh, I... please, you wouldn't last two minutes on a farm. I've witnessed all kinds of birthing. Never batted an eye. I've seen cattle. I've seen hogs. I've seen goats. I've even seen a three-legged... Whoa! Whoa! Oh, my God. <laughs> Really, Mitchell? I could have just died. <laughs> Principal Keisler, faculty, parents, fellow graduates. Hey, it's superstar. Oh, you're working on your speech. Yep. Well, do you need any help? Because sometimes it's great to bounce ideas off someone whose opinion you value. I'm good. Okay, that's cool. We could do your hair. We could do it like we saw in that magazine on, oh, what's that actress? What's her name with the, you know, with the teeth? Mom, mom, please. I'm, I'm trying to concentrate. Okay. Okay. Well, you be ready to go in a half hour because we're going to carpool with your grandpa. Haley's driving me. I want to get there early. That's a great idea. Great. I will see you there. Superstar. Hey, Mama Bear. You okay? Not with Mama Bear, I'm not. Don't cry. I'm not crying. Shh, don't be brave. I'm here for you. Until 2 p.m. tomorrow, when my flight leaves for Vegas. Well, where are you? Did you bring the bread? I was stuck outside that gate for 10 minutes before it opened. So no bread? We gotta get that thing fixed. Hi. what happened to your eye? What are you talking about? He's droopy. What do you mean, droopy? Uh, I don't like the look of that, Jay. Here, uh, let me check something. Put that thing away. I saw my dermatologist. He was checking for moles or something. He probably got some numbing cream on it. It's fine. Nothing to worry about. I got Botox. Stupid doctor talked me into it, and now it's drifting. I haven't felt this dumb since I shelled out 30 bucks for that bracelet. It's supposed to give me better balance. Try to push my arm down. Okay. Go ahead. You can't do okay. it. You can't right. do it. I can't. Honey, I'm home. Hey, uh, why is your dad's car here? It's ironic that I stand up here representing my classmates when, for the past three years, most of them have treated me like I'm invisible. It's my own fault. I was obsessed with good grades instead of looks, popularity, and skinny jeans. What? Oh. Is that your speech? Get out of here. You cannot say that. Yes, I can. And you want to know why? Because it's the truth. No one wants to hear the truth. It's very simple, Alex. In order to give a good speech, all you have to do is take a song and say it, like, don't stop believing or get this party started. That means nothing. Who cares? Nobody wants to think. It's a graduation, a celebration of being done with thinking. People want to be challenged. They're going to respect me for it. No one's ever going to talk to you again. So what? Mahatma Gandhi went on a hunger strike for what he believed in. That's because no one would eat with him in the cafeteria. Hey. Hey, guys. Hey. hey. Come on over. Have some lemonade and cookies. Hey, that's not looking very it's good. It's fine. Quick, who's the president? Obama. Phil, please. I'm trying to rule out a stroke. It's not a stroke. Why does everybody always assume I'm having a stroke? Age. Diet. You forgot to bring my bread. <sighs> I'm sorry we're late. Well, it's okay. We got to leave in about five minutes, though. Okay. Luke, stop pushing that ball around. You're going to fall in. Oh, yes, and then your Uncle Mitchell will laugh at your expense. I'm just saying it's a character flaw. Okay, okay, quick poll here. This morning, Cam, fully dressed. Thank God it's one of those stories. Well, in the middle of a very serious thought, fell into a ducky pool. Oh my goodness, are you all right? Yes, I am, thank you. That is a normal reaction, love and concern. Okay, wait, 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 wait. The, the pool popped. Hey, poor thing. Oh, there's nothing worse than a tailbone injury. Seriously? No, 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 you're so full of it. You know this is funny. Picture this falling into a tiny pool. <laughs> You'll be here all week, folks. Literally, because you're not coming home with me. Jesus, I thought that's my girl. Hi, sweetie, you're so cute. I just want to eat your face. Oh. Alex like that and you wanted to eat her face? Yeah. Pass yourself to high school. Mm. Time marches on, huh? Yep. You know what's really sad? What? The end of Titanic. Hey, Luke. Do you realize in two years you and I will be graduating? Not now. I think I'm moving the ball with my mind. Well, I'll be graduating. 
Like, you know, you guys, stop congratulating yourselves for being so compassionate. If you had been there, you would have laughed just as hard as I did. He's coming. So. Stop talking. He's been embarrassed enough today. <laughs> wow. Now it makes sense. It's a Pritchett thing. Cruelty's genetic. Suddenly it's all very clear. Be careful, you might run into it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Cam. I'm sorry. Oh my god, Dad, your face. What? Oh, that's nothing, nothing. It's it's boring. I went to the dermatologist. It is a boring story. No, no, no. We gotta get you to a hospital. I'm, fine. Yeah, I'm, fine. I'm taking you. Come Gloria, no, no, wait, 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 wait right here. Gloria. 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 Wait, hold on. The reason my face looks like this is because I had. The lady is used for the wrinkle. Well, actually, nearly 10% of their cells are men, but that's not important. I had a bad reaction. Hit a nerve or something. It's going to go away soon. Hmm. What? What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Would you stop? This is very embarrassing for me. For both of us. Oh. He's fine. He was a false alarm. What do you mean a false alarm? His face looks like a candle. You heard her. I'm okay. She's not a doctor. Neither are you. Technically. Okay, look, I, I don't know what's going on here, but there is no way that this is normal. You look like a Botox job gone horribly wrong. No, my God, you didn't. Of course he didn't. Did you? No. <gasps> you did! What were you thinking? You're a veteran. Enough. This conversation has ended. Let's go. Do you think he got his butt done, too? It looks fantastic. Alex, wait, I'm sorry. If you want to give your speech, go ahead. I was never valedictorian, what do I know? Thank you. I am doing this for a reason. It's not just like I'm- uh -huh. Sorry, Alex, but you will thank me one day. Please, you really think I don't have duplicates? If you do this, you'll be a social piranha. Yes, I'll be an Amazonian carnivorous fish. Carnivorous? Dad, open the gate. Oh, geez, not now. What? What's happening? It's stuck again. What do you mean, it's stuck? Can't you get it open? What do you think stuck means, Claire? We have to do something, Dad. Can't you, can't you push it open or something? I don't know. We are trapped in your driveway, and you don't know? As a gate owner, Dad, you have a certain responsibility. Listen, my daughter is going to get up on that stage and give a speech and graduate from middle school. And if I am not there, Dad, I am going to freak out. I'm going to freak out. Maybe push Do you it. understand what I'm saying? Do you have any idea how important Why are you smiling? I'm not. I'm not smiling. Now, do you not understand me? Chin, chin. Hysterical wife. Hysterical wife. Hysterical wife. Jackpot. All right, okay, we have tried this way. I say we ram the gate, kids get out of the way. Hold on, I think I can fix this. I just need a paper clip, some olive oil, and a ribbon. What's the plan we gave her? Actually, the paper clip is to connect these two circuits, and the olive oil is to lubricate the mechanism. And the hair ribbon is for Lily. Her hair's been driving me crazy all day. Why, why don't we just call some cabs? Because, Mitchell, this is not Times Square, and they'll take forever. Well, then we'll just climb over the fence and start running. No, we won't, because it's five miles away, Phil, and I'm in big shoes, so no. Wait, 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 wait! I saved the day. Let's take this crazy bicycle, we throw it over the gate, then we take Phil, and we take Claire, and then we throw them over the gate, too. Wait, what the hell is that? Jay bought it. He thought we were going to use it all the time, but I keep hitting my boobs with my knees. Champagne problems, right? <laughs> Honey, they're not going to ride the bike. Yeah, but I still think that we should throw it over the gate. Okay, you know what? Thank you. Thank you. Nobody else has come up with an idea. I think I've got a good idea. We don't have time to build a rocket, buddy. Never mind. Okay, so Phil and I will go over first, and then you guys will throw over the bike? Okay, step up. I'll boost you. Couldn't we get a ladder? Please, on cheer squad, I boosted girls bigger than you to the top of a human pyramid. Now, arms at your side, straight like a pencil. One, two, we are bulldogs. Ah! Ow! She's fine. Okay, Jay, now you do me. 
just grab a handful. Don't be shy. I'm not giving you as much to work with. I used to have a lot more there. I lost it. They used to call me the Grand Can. It's ironic that I stand up here representing my classmates when, for the past, I read the rest of your speech. Congratulations. Do you hate me? What? You talk about how all the popular kids are shallow and lame. I didn't mean you. You think you have everyone figured out, but everybody has their stuff. What stuff do you have? Too many boys chasing after you? Too many parties? You really want to know what stuff I have? Yeah. I'm flunking out of biology, and now I have to go to summer school. My friends, all they can ever talk about nowadays is going off to college, and I don't even know if I can get into college. Is that enough stuff for you? Whatever. You know what? Fine. Give your stupid speech, be an outcast, but you're only doing it to yourself because you're smart and pretty and sort of funny in a way that I don't really get, but other people seem to enjoy. So you can either start fresh next year or be the freak who flipped off her class. You really think I'm pretty? Shut up. Phil, go straight. This way's faster. No, straight. Stop leaning. Do you want to drive? I do. Tough, I called it. What was that? Oh, crap. The what? chain broke. Just keep pedaling. It doesn't matter. It matters a little. Cam, please be careful. Why? If I get electrocuted, my hat might blow right off. And that'd be funny as hell, right? <laughs> no, no. Hey, Jay. I know you're feeling self-conscious, so I dug up something I thought might help. Put that thing away. I knew you'd say that, but hear me out. This was designed to make a hideously disfigured man look super cool. It's perfect for you. Oh, yikes. Okay, I'll go upstairs and see if I have a lefty. Don't look at me like that. I have to say that I am a little disappointed in you doing this thing. Not me. I feel real good about it. How many times do I have to tell you that you don't have to look young for me? I didn't do it for you. What is that name? Stop. Most of the time I walk around in my head, I'm 40. And I look in the mirror. I say, who's that old man? And what's he doing in my bathroom? Well, it's my bathroom, too. And I like when the old guy is there. This is the face that I fell in love with. Not this face, this one. Oh, oh, hey, the gate's opening! The gate's opening! How did you do that? I, I didn't do anything. I didn't. I opened it with my mind. Come on, guys, let's go, guys! Say yeah, let's go! Let's go. Oh, get the car seat! Get Manny! Get Manny. Get Everyone in the car, let's go! Yep, that's what I thought. Chain's broken. What do you think? I think we gotta go. Sweetie, we, we can't make it on foot. We have to try. Honey. Honey. It's okay. It's not okay, Phil. It's not okay. We're losing her. Alex? Yes. You're not losing her? We are. She's going to high school. This is just when I lost Haley. This is when Haley went from being my sweet little angel to being a moody, texting, snotty little princess who hates me. Haley doesn't hate you, and we're not losing her. Do you remember when you used to come home from work and Haley would meet you at the door in her little Aladdin pajamas? You know, and she'd stick her arms up in the air and say, Daddy, Daddy, take me on a magic carpet ride. Remember that? When was the last time Haley was that excited to see you? I can't remember. It's been so long. <sighs> we're losing another one. I mean, that's what kids do. They leave. They leave and they... And they don't come back. Oh, well, ours will come back, right? What if they don't? And, and pretty soon, it's, it's just the two of us. I don't want to go to Vegas anymore. I know. I just want to hug them and embarrass them in front of their friends. I know. And Alex, my God, if we miss this speech, honey, she's a middle child. She will never forgive us. I'm not missing that speech. Hello, hello! What's the plan, Phil? Mi nombre es Felipe. Yo voy a la escuela. You need a ride to the school. Yes, please. Felipe? Vámonos, muchachos! I am so proud to be standing in front of this extraordinary group of youngsters. I'm sorry, or should I say oldsters? But seriously, the word commencement means beginning. 
I'm sorry I laughed. I don't need an apology, but I will say your behavior today has been very eye-opening. No offense, Jay. No, I'm taken. You look like an iceberg. Okay. Senor, this is it, right here, yeah. Oh. Okay. Muchas You're quite welcome. And now, please welcome your valedictorian, Alex Dunphy. Where's my mom and dad? Thank you. There they are. Principal Keisler, faculty, school board administrators, fellow graduates, parents, and everyone who helped us. You have lost all credibility. It's completely like different. Yes. How? It's the juxtaposition of absurdist comedy against the backdrop of a formal setting. Not a big bone man falling into a pool. Really? Shh. This is about Alex. It's ironic that I stand up here representing my classmates when they're so awesome, they should be up here themselves. But I'm up here, and I'm saying stuff because everybody's got their stuff. Whether you're popular or a drama geek or a cheerleader or even a nerd like me, <laughs> we all have our insecurities. Yes, we do. We're all just trying to figure out who we are. I guess what I'm trying to say is don't stop believing. Get this party started. <laughs> There she is. Your speech moved me. I <laughs> loved how you play with the song titles. Fantastic. My idea. You did good, kid. <laughs> Thanks, Grandpa. Ah, don't ask. Oh. You'll be fine. Yes, we are so proud of you. Come here. <laughs> Hello. I opened the gate with my mind. What do you say we all go get something to eat? Let's go. Yeah. 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 Actually, I was kind of just invited to a party. Okay. Mm. Would it be okay if I go? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yay! Yeah, Thanks good. for Have coming, fun. you guys. Yeah. Have fun, sweetie. Bye. Congratulations. Yeah. I'm kind of hungry, Mom. Oh my God, she's back. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what are you doing? Let's go. Oh, Let's go eat. I'm not hungry anymore. Oh, you're not gonna regret this. I'm not, hu I'm not hungry. I'm not sure hungry. I'm not hungry anymore. Sure I'm not. You no, are. I'm not. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Mom, listen to this card Dad got for Grandpa Jay. Hip, 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 hooray. <laughs> Save the extra hip. You'll need it someday. Because <laughs> he's old. Mm. <laughs> You're not giving him that. Even if he drinks his other gift first? Nope. <sighs> Ladies, do you remember exactly one year ago today when you did not have a gift for your grandfather and it killed him just a little? So I suggested you start interviewing all the members of the family for a video tribute? Well... Check it and burn. We totally did that. Almost. We just need to finish the editing. And you should talk. You haven't even started on your gift yet. That's because I changed mine. I thought of a better idea yesterday. I think I came up with a better idea. OK. My dad has a picture of me and Mitchell when we were kids standing in our old backyard. We're going to recreate the picture. I did the same thing last year for my parents for Christmas, and it went over like gangbusters. Mm. <laughs> Oh, I do. I do. Uh, I do. Come on, girls. TV off. It's your grandfather's birthday. We got to start taking this seriously. Permission to come aboard. My best birthday memory. I'm a teenager, and for some reason, I dragged this boat out on the lake. And for hours, 
I'm just lying there fishing along with my thoughts. Fantastic. That's all I want this year. So that's really going to be your day? You're going fishing? With time out for a gourmet lunch. Sausage of the Month Club really nailed it in May. But honey, no offense, they almost lost me last month with that chorizo. Why no offense? It's a sausage. It's not on our flag. Lily, what are you doing here? Surprise! <laughs> we were just on our way to get Jay's cake and thought we'd pop by. Lily was driving me crazy all morning. I had to get rid of her. She refuses to get dressed. Well, did you try bribing her? Oh, no. Uh, of course I did. I cannot go back in there, Mitchell. Why do we ever decide to have a kid? I don't know. I don't know. Come on. She loves you so much. Just Aww. this morning, she was looking at a picture of you, and I swear she was trying to say your name. Really? Oh, I would love to spend more time with her, but I have to go to the mall to get Jay's gift for Aww. his birthday. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. Gloria's busy. No, don't cry. We should go. Oh, maybe I can take her Okay, bag's me. packed. Have fun. Bye, sweetie. Hey, Cam. Oh, hey, Manny. Mom, is Jay still here? No, he just left. Shoot. Why, what's up, pal? I'm going over to a friend's house where I may have to use this thing. I only used it once, and that was to take a tort out of the oven. Okay, well, first, let's loosen this thing up. So what's her name? How'd you know? Well, you're pretending to be something you're not. Boys do that for girls, or really dreamy boys. <laughs> her name's Tara. We have great chats online. She's really smart, funny, but she's on a softball team. Well, nobody's perfect. Hey, you know what? Why don't we go outside and toss the ball around? Okay. Wow. And you know what? I wouldn't worry too much. She's going to like you even if sports aren't your thing. Aren't my thing? I have a tennis racket upstairs I only use as a bubble bath frother. Wow. How do you put this on? Excuse me, miss. Sorry. <laughs> you answered to miss. Ah, uh -huh. hilarious. <laughs> hey. Glenn Whipple, my college rival. Captain of the cheer squad, winner of every robot battle. Every second I spent with a guy just made me feel worse about myself. The only thing I could compete with him in was close-up magic. Ah, <laughs> well, great to see you. Great to see you too, and I believe this is yours. What, when? Hey, are you headed over to the card shop? I was in there earlier, I got myself one of those musical cards. Oh. A little more expensive, but I can swing it. Oh, well, great to see you. By the way, don't leave without this quarter from behind you. Come on, Phil. Good luck, Dumphy. I'm off to get some new cross trainers. I blow through them pretty fast with all this power walking I'm into. Catch you later. Phil. Hey. Hey. What are you two doing here? Shopping for tonight? Oh, I'll walk with you. Where were you heading? The card store. What a beautiful child. You and your wife must be so happy. <laughs> oh, I didn't think anything of it until other people started making the same mistake. It reminded me of a college job I had parking cars. One day I had to park an Aston Martin. I'll never forget the looks I got driving that baby down the block. I wasn't going to dent this one. Hey, uh, what would you think about swinging by the shoe store? Okay, let's go. I still can't believe all the looks we got driving over here. And yet you wore the hat the whole time. Don't you think we should park on the next block over? Because this is all permit parking. No, we used to live here. It's fine. Yeah, still, I... Oh. I don't think anybody's home. Yeah? Here, hang on to this. What? Wait, where are you going? In the backyard. We'll take this picture really quickly, and then we'll just get out of no, here. No, let's just, let's just wait for them to come home. Okay, that that's trespassing. No, it's not. We used to live here. I don't think that does what you think it does. <sighs> of course you would baby out, because this is just like pool hopping all over again. I just, I don't see what was fun about that. It made going to Grandma's pool less special. Why don't you try being a little less special? Is it far? <clears throat> Hello. Oh, I must have her phone. She probably grabbed mine again. Listen, this is her husband. You you have my number right there, probably. Give that a call. Oh, okay, thanks. Yeah, it's me again. I'll be right there. Yeah, I did blame her for no reason. You got a little bit of an attitude, you know that? 
You know who did your job in my day? A hose. Okay, little to your left, yes, okay. little to your left, right there. That's it. That's it. Hurry. Perfect. Okay. No, I was right. Okay. Here. Okay. Fast. Here we go. It's weird being back here, isn't it? I know. Everything looks exactly the same. Well, you know, except for the fence. Yeah, who said that? Who are they trying to keep out anyway? I don't know. <laughs> oh God! Oh God! Oh, wow. oh God! Oh my God! No, it's okay. You might be friendly. Nice. Oh, nice. Ah. Whoa, no, God. Quickly, quickly. So not nice. Oh, hurry, oh, hurry, oh, hurry, hurry. Oh, oh, God. Uh, now, what do we do? Well, you could try telling him we used to live here. They're never coming home. We need to call someone. Use your phone. Mine's down there getting rabies on it. No, I left mine in your car. What? Well, I didn't want to ruin the line of my pants. Oh, God. Oh, look, somebody's coming. No, okay, that is what happens when you park without a permit. Stop, that's ours! We're up here! Stop! He ignored me. He didn't stop for the screaming sailor in a tree? Give me your shoe. What, you think that wolf down there is to be afraid of a shoe? No, I don't. What, what, what are you doing with Dad's wine? Getting comfortable. Mm. He could be up here for a really long time. Whoa, where'd you learn how to do that? Where'd you get a sailor suit on short notice? Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Ew, it's Merlot. Hello? Manny! Hey, how'd it go with Tara? It's still going on. The catch part went fine, mostly. I took a running dive into the dirt. Oh, well, did you at least catch the ball? I was trying to throw the ball. I'm in her bathroom looking for Band-Aids. I'm trying to give the nerve to tell her how I feel. Well, just be honest. She intimidates me. Every time I open my mouth, I say something stupid. I call her bedroom fantasy. That's not even a word. Are you okay in there, Manny? Yeah, I'm just water washing my hands. Help me. Tell me what to say. Okay, how about this? You are the prettiest, smartest, funniest girl in the sixth grade. I know you're only 11, but I can't stop thinking about you. I've loved talking to you online. I think we should become boyfriend and girlfriend. Uh, no, it's not what you think. I'm talking to a little boy. Oh. Hello. She's not with me, Cam. I got her phone. Why are you crying? How do you get kicked out of a bakery? Well, that'll do it. I'm sorry to ask you to get your own birthday cake, but I can't get a hold of any anyone else. You can't do it. I'm on my way to the lake, finally. Just get something at the grocery store. I am not getting you a grocery store cake. Gloria asked me to handle this. She's going to yell at me, Jay. She can be mean in Spanish. OK, fine. Let's wrap this up, princess. OK, love you. Bye. What are you guys doing? Just editing our birthday tribute to Grandpa. You know, some of the interviews I did didn't turn out so well. That's OK. We'll just use the best stuff from what we all got. OK, Haley, talk about Grandpa. Ew! I can't talk about Grandpa dressed like this. <coughs> I love my <coughs> that stupid dog next door! Jay! 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 Five, no. Uncle Mitch, what are you doing? One, two, three. What are you doing? Uh, nothing. You didn't see this, and we don't tell Cam. Capiche? It'll only take one minute. We'll have a minute. Let's go and fix me. Friend of your mom's. <laughs> Not now! Hey, Uncle Cam, can you talk about Jay? Jay, I know. No time. I got a little girl's birthday party to save. Skedaddle. Go. Oh, not now, honey. Uh, your father's out back. What'd you call him? Phil? Dad? Your kids need you? Grandpa is really cool. He wants to let me drink some of his beer. For the love of... Root beer. I could have sworn we had more. Well, let me work my magic. It's all about creative editing. Just give me two hours and another hour. Someone get me some chocolate milk with extra salt. Do you remember the time you quit Cub Scouts and Dad got mad at you so you ran away up here? <laughs> right, and you brought me my dinner up here yeah. and my comic books. Yep, I think Mom and Dad would have been a lot more scared if you hadn't been running into the house to use the bathroom. I can't go outside. Wait, I'm thinking about it. It's ironic. We always wanted a dog in this backyard and we could never have one. Yeah, he, Manny got one. Huh. And Manny gets everything. Yeah. Hey, do you think Manny's gonna get a third of... Third of what? 
you know. Oh, uh, guess. Sure, I mean, that seems fair, right? Does it? Claire, does it? Okay, I just you know feel what? Like... I think we've probably had enough of this. Okay, wait. Do you think if we could get the dog to chase this doll, then we could run down and grab the phone really quick? We could do that. Yeah. We just are going to have to throw it really, really far. Right, so... That way. Mm -hmm. Gloria, um, I'd still love to swing by that shoe store. If you're in a hurry, go by yourself. No. Oh, wait. Quibble! Quibble! Okay. What do you think? Oh, it's perfect. Uh, let, let's see the other side. Quibble! Bless you. Thank you. It's a little too tight, no? What do you think of the tush? Oh, I think it's great. Why don't you keep it right there for a second? Let's make sure. Yeah, but it's a little see-through. Maybe if I put this underneath, then it won't, like, show. No, 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 no. It looks good that way. Oh, I go try something else, babe. No, wait! Wait! Oh, don't think about it. Just get it. Hilarious, Whipple. I'm actually here with someone. And you finally did make something disappear. She was here a second ago. Of course she was. Just like that date you had on the final night dance of Junior Tumbling Congress. There was traffic. <laughs> sure. I think I found something that is going to make my husband very happy. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, very happy, Gloria. Very happy. Okay, but don't go far away because I might need help with the zipper, okay? Sounds good. With the zipper. Wow, Phil. I mean, wow. That's your wife? It would appear so. Great to see you, Glenn. You know, I gotta say, I'm a little surprised. Surprised? Or mystified? Damn it, it went down your shirt. You can keep it. I'll see ya. No, no, I just always assumed you would marry Claire Pritchett. You remember Claire? Are you kidding? She was gorgeous. God, I was so jealous of you back then. You were jealous of me? Oh, man, Claire Pritchett with the blonde hair and those brown eyes. Great smile. Oh, I can picture her smiling right now. I can't. I wonder who landed her. Lucky son of a bitch. Yeah. Phil, I need you. What now? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'll be there in a second. No. How? What the hell were you thinking? I'll answer that for you. You weren't thinking. You think that's funny, Popeye? No. Popeye. I should be fishing. But I'm hauling my ass across town trying to save you two from a little dog. At least we gotta have a dog for a few minutes. There we go. You could show a little gratitude, you know. These pants are new. Climbing over that fence, I might have wrecked them. <laughs> That's mature. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're sorry. We're sorry. I'm sorry you said wrecked them. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. And we're so glad that you came. Thank you. Got us. And it was very smart the way that you distracted the dog. Twelve times a year I get sausages. That's it. The hell am I going to do till June? Hey. <gasps> Let's see it. Hey. It's beautiful. Oh, we just need some candles. I, I must have in one of the drawers. Okay. Okay. necklace. Baby Jesus. Keys. I, I was looking for these keys. Baby Jesus, BB guns, more baby Jesus. I, another baby. Jesus, Stella, don't do that! Gloria? No, Jay! Don't come in here. You cannot see the cake. It's the bad luck. I already saw the cake. I bought it while I was busy not fishing. No, go to the bar. Go. You never used to talk to me like that before we got that damn dog. Hey, Manny, I almost called you. How'd it go with Tara? Okay, I guess. I used every line you gave me, and she totally ate it up. Oh, well, then why just okay? She wants to go on a date now, to the batting cage. Oh, not so good with the bat? I am, as long as I'm using it to roll out dough. <laughs> I'll bet you just need a little practice. You know, when I was your age, I couldn't hit a balloon with the bat. And my father took me out to the field, and a couple hours later, I was knocking the hide off that ball. It's one of the... Best days we ever had together. Really? Yeah. I just bet you need some time in a batting cage. What are you doing this weekend? That'd be fun, huh? That's a great idea. I'll ask Jay. He loves stuff like this. Oh. 
That would be great for you guys. Yeah. And thanks for your help today, Cam. You got it. I don't think Grandpa's having the best time. He keeps going and getting more drinks. Well, not every time. One time he went in to check on the women's basketball score. Sparks are up by eight. Anybody cares. <sighs> okay. Dad, we all owe you an apology. We were so worried about giving you a great night that we ruined your day, and I'm really sorry we didn't let you go fishing. Sorry, Dad. Sorry, Jay. Sorry. Sorry, sorry Jay. You know what? I'm acting like a jerk. What, am I 12? Hey. So I didn't get to go fishing. I'm gonna pout about it. I still have my family, and you guys made such a big fuss. I love you all. Aww. So let's go get some cake and presents. Yes. yes. Uh, cake and presents, come on, everybody. Yes. Honey. Have I told you how lucky I am to have you, Gloria? Excuse me, because I am. Um, okay. No singing. What the hell happened to cake? Nothing. It's beautiful. Okay, let's open the presents. Yes, presents. Yes. 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 Mine first. There mine first. And as you know, Claire and I, we didn't mm -hmm. quite finish ours, but we will be getting that to you. Fine. And our gift is a fuller version of that on a card. Wonderful. And of course, the cake is uh, mine. Fantastic. And here we have a phone in the shape of a mouse. Ah, you're welcome. Very sexy. Well, wait a minute. Don't tell me. Let me work this out. I mentioned a few times I was thinking of taking out the saxophone. Let me give me this. I got it. Is this a sexy phone? Happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else we got? Oh, uh, nothing. Hmm, maybe not a perfect showing on behalf of the adults in the family, but don't forget the kids still have their big gift. Yeah. And it took us a year to make. It's in the DVD player. You've got to come watch it. Okay. Come on, Jay. Right. Right. Let's go, Jay. I bring your sexy phone. Oh, you don't forget that. And, and uh, we all participated, so this is kind of from all of us. Yeah. Hit the lights. <clears throat> Dad! Jay! Jay! Grandpa. We love... Ew! Capiche? Well, who wants to see it again? Um... That's it? That's all you use? I wasn't even in it. Well, that totally sucked. You know what? Great party. Thank you all for coming. And I hope you forgive me. I'm going to go upstairs, curl up with a Ludlum, and call it a day. Hello. Manny. Where are you? What are you doing out there? <laughs>